so sun care hello everyone welcome back to the channel now it's no secret that the days of kind of white gloopy thick greasy oily sunscreen are kind of gone there's been a lot of new sort of more innovative products come out in the last couple of years and i've definitely been using a lot of them and i was actually really inspired by christine's sunscreen video um she's one of my favorite sort of just chatty really normal um everyday kind of girls so yeah not sponsored or anything like that these are just products that i love and just interesting products that i think you guys may or may not like to try this summer so yeah let's get straight into it the first product is actually one of the newest products and the reason why it's coming up first is because i actually need to use it right now i'm filming this on this beautiful new york sunny day here on my rooftop so Hopefully you won't hear too much background noise. It's Sunday, so there's not too many helicopters around, so that's good. But yeah, this is the new Glossier Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen. It's SPF 35. I mentioned that I received it a little bit earlier than the release day in my last New York City vlog. And yeah, I've been using it for like over a week and a half now. I'm really enjoying using it. It's a very interesting texture. I don't know if you can see. It's sort of a water-based gel consistency and like all Glossier products it's just a very interesting product to use. Uh, the water-based component makes it really easy to absorb into the skin and it feels very hydrating to apply like it feels like a serum, it feels like it thickens up as you rub it in but it does sort of dry into a very natural finish, it's perfect for under your makeup and I forgot to mention in the vlog actually it's actually anti-pollutant as well so if you live in a city it's really good for like the everyday just to like protect against your skin sort of absorbing all of those like nasty fumes and stuff from the subway or the underground it's really good for like a city gal everyday SPF it's not waterproof so it's not brilliant for like vacation if you're swimming a lot or anything but if you are like me and you're just you know everyday living in the city it's a really good one and I actually really do like the fact it's yellow because I I don't know if Christine mentioned this or somebody else but I think it's a bit more approachable and a bit more of a unisex product in my eyes so I've been really enjoying using this. Next up is a favorite of mine from last year and I really do stand behind this product. I think it's a really good product and in general I think this brand does great sort of sunscreen sun care products. It's the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Uh, it's described as a weightless, clean feel, non-greasy and waterproof resistant up to 80 minutes and how I know this is good is because my Irish friend who came to visit me last year who has naturally just Irish skin which if you don't already know burns super easily I made her get the SPF 50 because oh my god it was like 30 degrees Celsius that week it was super hot and super sunny and neither of us got burnt the entire week I used the 30 she used the 50 and it just stood the test of time this is just like a beautiful mist that sprays super easily you don't need a thick layer of it at all to be protected and it just like you don't even need to rub it in yeah it just feels really light I love the way it sprays from the can it's really like like a wide area I guess and it just feels light so I really do enjoy using this product and it was definitely a repurchase and one can actually lasted me the entire summer which I was pretty impressed about. Something that you may not think about on holiday is UV protection for your hair. This is definitely something I started using years ago um, but protection for your hair especially when you're on vacation and there's a lot of chlorine involved really really important and yeah the stuff I'm using now is the Bumble and Bumble hairdressers invisible oil it's the dry oil finishing spray but it has UV protectant in it. It's for dry hair, which I certainly do have, but this is more for like, if you want to sort of style your hair like second day, like, you know, if you don't necessarily want to wash your hair, you just sort of want to give it like a bit of a spruce up and head back out into the sun. This is ideal for that. It just kind of, I don't know, just styles your hair nicely and just adds like a bit of shine in the right places and it feels sort of protected. Carastase or Carastase does a really good, um, more like liquid UV protectant. That's great if you're really spending time in the sun and you're by the pool a lot and you want something a bit more water resistant. I don't have that because I just haven't gone on vacation and I ran out of it ages ago, but this is something that I would use a bit more because I haven't been on vacation in a while. This is the hardcore stuff and I do recommend that everyone should have one of these in their arsenal because you never know when you're going to be caught off guard. Really great for taking to the beach or just somewhere super hot. It's the, well, I know a couple of brands do something like this, but this one is 
is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Face and Body Sunscreen Stick. This is hardcore, you guys. This is SPF 70. Definitely more for those type of holidays where you don't wear much makeup during the day because it is more greasy, it's more like emollient and uh, slightly bit more oily, but it just means that it really sticks so that when you go in the water, it doesn't like wash off and it just makes sure that you do not get burnt at all. So even if you don't use it that often, I think that everyone should have something like this in their kit. The last product I have to show is sort of an aftercare product and this one I've actually only tried a couple of times. It's brand new for me. It's the Vaseline Intensive Care Spray Moisturizer with Aloe Soothe. So again, this is one of those mist products and I don't know if um, it's a little bit thicker. You do, I feel like, have to rub this one in. It's a bit more liquidy, I feel. Every time I hear the word after sun, I just think of my mom being really annoying and like making me slather on after sun after every single day out on holiday. And rightly so, it helps your tan stick better. It helps kind of help heal any redness or burning after being out in the sun all day. And it's just an extra layer of hydration. The one I actually wanted to show you guys was again from Neutrogena, I think, and it was specifically said after sun on it. This one doesn't say after sun, but it's a moisturizer, it has aloe vera in it so it has most of the ingredients you would normally find in an after sun anyway so yeah I just like again I like the spray thing it makes it a little bit easier a little bit less messy and it just makes it not as annoying to put on yeah I don't roll my eyes every time I hear the word after sun anymore so yeah I really like this product so far it smells nice smells yeah it smells kind of fresh and a little bit cucumbery so those are my favorite products to take care of my skin not just during the summer months but also on the daily as well things like uv rays still penetrate even on a cloudy day so that is important to note it is important to use some kind of spf every day especially on your face if you want to look young and radiant and all that good stuff that we all want going into our older ages so i hope you enjoyed this video found it informative i will see you guys in the next one